The DHS players have started something new, a unique project for the winter play of 2019-2020. The show is titled Shakespeare in Love and has been adapted from the screenplay that came out just two decades prior. The show includes many programs that our school has to offer, involving many of our students for an amazing outcome in the end. I'm Mr. Finney. We are here at the first day of auditions for Shakespeare in Love, our 2020 winter play. Fictional story of Shakespeare and the writing of Romeo and Juliet based on what we know of Shakespeare's life. Um, it is a, a sort of a, a piece of historical fiction, I guess you might say. It illuminates how Shakespeare may or may not have written uh, some of his plays, especially Romeo and Juliet and it's based on a very, very popular Academy Award winning film. Hi, I'm Megan Robertson. I'm a senior here at Dalton High School in the Drama Department. And um, we just auditioned for our winner play, Shakespeare in Love. And I auditioned for Queen Elizabeth. And I think it went pretty well, but all my other um, fellow actors and they all did a really good job, so we'll see. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I've already come to terms, like I've, gave, I've already given myself the pep talk that if I don't make it in, it's okay. Look, my name is Sabine O'Hara, and um, I auditioned for um, Fennyman, oh, Henslow, and if I am not mistaken, I also auditioned for Wabash. Um, I feel like the show is a very comedic show. It's very funny, it's very lighthearted, it's, it has a lot of uh, interesting points inside of it. And I feel personally like my audition went well. Um, I, I'm just happy to get casted, if anything, honestly. Like Bard saying, I auditioned for Will, and I think I did pretty well. Um, there's a lot of other people, and I hope everyone just gets a chance. And... My name is Bethany Sutherland. I auditioned for Biola, and um, I think I did like average, I don't know. Paige Manahan, the junior, is performing as Viola and she went over how she's prepared for such a big role. I am Paige Manahan and I play Viola. So far, to get ready for the part, I have been rehearsing my lines with my mom so I know when my cue lines are and when to say everything. We also had the chance to speak to Raimondo Moncayo, the senior who plays Richard Burbage, and he told us about this show and what it means to him. Uh, throughout the process of doing this show, it has been very fun and easygoing. This show is very interesting as it details the life of William Shakespeare along with some information that are spoofs from other plays. This has been one of my favorite shows so far and it being my last show, it means a lot um, to just be a part of it. Morgan Herlock, who is also a senior, plays the nurse and was asked about how the rehearsals have been for this exciting show. I feel like the rehearsals have been going really well so far. It's really exciting watching everything come together, especially since a lot of different entities from the Fine Arts Department are all coming together for this one show, and I can't wait to see the final production. Aaron Perez and Ariana Avila are both sophomores, and they were asked about how they felt about opening night being less than a week away. It's honestly really stressful, but I feel like if we work hard enough in this next week, we're going to pull through and have an amazing show for you for opening night. Yeah, honestly, um, I'm very nervous, but that always comes with like being in theater and stuff. So I'm used to it, but I know that will do great. Lily Rayberg is a student stage director for this show, and she told us about all of the contributions she has made for its success. I designed the rotating stage for it, and I'm collaborating with Mr. Norton in the engineering class to build that. And then I am designing and possibly running lights and also stage managing the show. And yesterday, Mr. Finney added the title of assistant director. So I'm doing a lot with this show. We asked Mr. Norton, an engineering teacher here at Dolan High School, about his contribution and making the revolver for the show. I'm going to show you kind of what we've been working on for the last couple of weeks with the uh, with our second year class. We've been helping out with the theater program here at Dalton High School to build a rotating stage. So they're going to be able to uh, make a set change. All they have to do is spin the stage and the next part of the set's ready to go. We talked to Mr. Matcan, the music instructor here at Dalton High School, about his contributions to the show and how it's been working with this genre of music. It's calling for several different types of instruments um, that we're not used to, so we'll have to kind of be creative, maybe rewrite some parts, 
Um, but we're going to have a few people from our music department uh, play a big part in the play, playing uh, the music that's going to correspond with the play. This is uh, Shakespeare in Love is um, <clears throat> during the British Romantic period, um, so the music will correspond along that uh, period. And um, I think that it'll be an interesting um, adventure for our instrumentalists because it'll be something a little different in style of, of music. So I think it'll be exciting for them and lots of things that we can learn from it. Um, definitely different, different time signatures as I go through here. Lots of opportunities to teach different time signatures and how those time signatures fit. I've not had a lot of experience playing music from the Romantic period, um, but this ought to be fun. Um, and obviously Shakespeare in Love, maybe we'll fall just as in love with it as, as the play uh, plays out. Miss Knox, a director for the drama program, was asked about her contribution and some of her favorite things about working on this show. Hi, I'm Miss Knox and I am the assistant director for Shakespeare in Love. I'm also the adult costumer and I gathered all the props. So far my favorite part has been working with the kids backstage and on the stage. Norisa is a student costumer for the drama department and she told us about some of the challenges and rewards that come with holding her position. My name is Nora Issa and I'm the costumer for our winter play Shakespeare in Love. Um, one of the challenges that I have faced doing this project is that I am new to doing this because this is my uh, third show I'm helping with. I am getting help from other people but my biggest challenge is doing it by myself. The positive of this is that I get to see the final product which I'm very very happy with um, and get to see it all like, come together which is amazing to see in the end. Um, and I'm really hoping for Shakespeare and Love to do really great. Dr. Baker, the chorus instructor, was asked about his contribution to the show and training his vocalists. Um, my contribution to Shakespeare in Love is I'm preparing the singers. Um, this is a play, basically, but it has incidental music that is in the play, mostly during set changes. And so we have a combination of an ensemble, instrumental ensemble, with several singers. Um, they're doing a great job to prepare the singers. We have been rehearsing on the weekends and after school. Last but not least is Chef Grieven. He was asked about his contributions and what he'll face with this task. We were tasked by Mr. Finney and the Drama Program to provide all the food for the dinner theater this year. Uh, we're super excited to do it and we're really glad to be a part of the program. What that really amounts to is that my students and I, we planned the menu, we decided how we're going to lay it out, we kind of decided if there would be a theme to go along with our food to kind of match the play itself, but we decided that uh, the food that we just chose for our menu would be a perfect fit for that. Um, we're super excited to be a part of this. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun and hopefully this is something we can do in many, many years to come.